Hi, this is Matthew Robert Payne. This uh, short uh, message may offend a lot of Pentecostals. Uh, I don't have a lot of people watch my channel, so unless uh, this video miraculously goes viral, not many people will see it. But the more I ponder uh, the charismatic prophetic words about revival and one billion soul revival and all these uh, people that pontificate and prophesy outpouring and revival, the more I realize that a parable of Jesus spoke the opposite of this. Uh, Jesus uh, shared a parable about how uh, a king was having a party for his son and he put together a, a banquet for his son and he invited his friends and the friends didn't come to the party. And then he got the servants and sent them out to the uh, to the strangers and brought strangers in. And then he sent them out once more to the highways and the byways to get all the sinners and the brokenhearted. Who are these servants that went out? Uh, surely the friends of the king, surely the friends of the leader, uh, the king, um, surely that's the Christian church. Surely the Christian church are the ones that made the excuses and said they can't come to the party. Uh, surely the friends of the king are the church. So who are these servants? I personally believe, and this is a personal belief, I personally believe that these are the sons and daughters of God and to be a son of God, according to Romans, you have to be led by the Holy Spirit. I estimate only 2% of the current church are sons of God. And I also feel that these sons of God aren't going to be established friends of, of the king uh, that made excuses. But most of these sons of God are going to be disenfranchised Christians who have left the church. I feel that uh, when you've been disappointed and rejected and abused by the church and then you leave the church and you develop a strong faith, I believe only those people really have the compassion for the other people that are out of church. I believe uh, these people are going to make up the servants that go out into the highways and the byways to save the lost. Um, I have found personally that people that attend church each week don't really care for the people who don't attend church. The average person who attends church each week doesn't believe you're a true Christian if you're not attending church. They'll say not to forsake the gathering of the brethren, and I'll quote that scripture at you. They they can't, their religious, their religious mindset cannot handle the fact that you've got an intimate relationship with Jesus without attending church. So I personally feel that the church is so far from God, it's so far from God's ways, it's so religious that the brokenhearted can't find a place in there. Um, if you talk to the brokenhearted, if you talk to the people who don't attend church, they don't want anything to do with religion and they don't want to go to church. And if you are kind to them and their friends, you'll find that they uh, believe in God, they believe that Jesus died for their sins and they do their best to follow Jesus. They may not have the indwelling Holy Spirit, but they believe in God and they believe in Jesus' sacrifice. I believe in the last days, uh, the servants are sons of God who don't really go to church, who don't really attend church, that go out and save the lost. I don't believe, uh, even though it's been prophesied in stadium revivals and church revivals and a revival in the church, I don't personally believe that uh, because uh, Jesus parable shares that his friends won't come to the banquet. Um, so I'm just putting that out there now. I uh, am a humble person and I'm a person who who thinks about these things deeply. 
And I could be wrong. I could be totally wrong. Uh, I know that uh, there's hundreds, if not thousands, of prophecies and prophetic people that have prophesied a great power uh, outpouring and a great revival before the return of Jesus. But I really feel that the average Christian doesn't really care uh, for the person that doesn't attend church. And they've showed me personally by the way they've run swords through me and cut me to pieces when I say I'm happy not going to church. Um, so God bless you. Uh, I hope you learn something from this. Uh, do me a favor and uh, and share this on your social media. Perhaps we can get some truth out there.